Uh, I want to, before we get like to the questions and to getting to know you, I want to make sure I'm pronouncing your name correctly. It's Ariel or is you, do you pronounce it a different way? It's Ariel. Yeah. Pronounce Ariel. Yeah, okay. Ariel. Gotcha. I had an idea the other day and I was like, Ariel, what's your currency? Do you have a currency in chat, like in your streams? Um, well, we have buns. Oh, buns. Just made it up though. Oh, okay. Well, I had the okay. I do this often with people sometimes, like with their streams and whatnot, because you know sometimes people have like a branding or a certain theme for them. Well, um, I had the idea of Ariel and your your currency are shells, Ariel shells, you know. But you, I'm sorry, I don't know that popped up in my head. I'm like, I wonder if her currency is like shell related or something, because that goes flipping perfect actually genius i might need to switch it up. oh take it oh my god trade market please trade market take it um okay i had a couple questions i jot down for you um my first question was uh what exactly do you do in your own words whether it be streaming or like i see that you make music as well or content creating what what do you consider yourself Ooh. i'm all over the place honestly i do Photography, I do music. Probably would mostly oh. consider myself a streamer, though. Yeah. I didn't know you did photography. Yeah. yeah wow. I do, as a hobby. <laughs> oh, my God. I would love it. Do you, like, upload them on Instagram or you keep them, like, to yourself? Or, like, you do it for, like, a company or something? I have a few photos on Instagram. Oh, I have, like, a lovely. separate Instagram page for photos. Mm -hmm. But overall, you'd consider you yourself... Oh, okay. You'd consider yourself a streamer overall, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Overall. Um, so when did you start streaming? Are you, would you consider yourself, I guess, new or tell us about that? I would consider myself new. Technically I started in 2017, but I wasn't consistent at all. And I didn't really much attention mm -hmm. I was doing so. I really started streaming in May this year. May okay. Mm -hmm. Um. What What kind of did you stream games or like just chatting or stream games? Yeah. I think when I first started, I streamed like Borderlands Two, mm -hmm. Borderlands the pre sequel, and then also Mafia Three, but it was like crappy quality, so I see. didn't really get too far with that are you on um console pc what what, what are you on ariel on console i'm on um okay. ps4 well, would you ever consider switching to pc <laughs> yes i've you always would? wanted to build a pc yeah i think wow. it'd be really cool to build a pc See, I I'm I don't know how to feel about that. I screw things up so much that i feel like i'd be terrified to screw up building a pc here it's really easy though Mm -hmm. buy off of what other Wait, who say. told you it's yeah. easy? Oh my god, I need that confidence. <laughs> I mean, a few people have said it. Some, a few people have said that it's not that hard to build one. So mm -hmm. that's what's making me want to build one. I see. Okay, I, I know it's very pricey too. That's another thing that holds people back. I feel like it's the components yeah. just cost so much for, for building one, unless you buy a pre-built yeah. one. But I feel like you're limited yeah. with them. Yeah. Have you ever tried any other streaming platforms, whether it be when Mixer was still alive or like, did you ever try YouTube? I actually haven't. Um, I didn't even know anything about Mixer. Mm -hmm. So like Mixer shut went down, away. So yeah, I that happened to a lot of people too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Would you ever try like um, venturing off to YouTube? Of on... Uh-huh. Go on. I watch people, a lot of people on YouTube, but I don't, I never really tried to stream on there mm -hmm. um, i did some different stuff on there and i'm thinking about trying to go back oh what kind of stuff stream uh i just sang oh, <laughs> really oh of ago. course okay you're i would love to hear some of your 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 content your music and now you're making me curious as to i want to kind of look up your your music do you have any like on your youtube or like do you have a youtube channel that's like plugged in and associated with your with your uh twitch account um i don't i do have a soundcloud though oh okay all Chat. of my personal music is on okay all right I've linked up to my twitch okay 
I would love to listen to it someday. I won't put you on the spot now and play it because now, because I feel like that's gonna that would make anybody feel awkward, you know. But uh, I, I would I'll probably as a little something I'm gonna listen to it like off of obviously stream. Okay, all right. Would you like to venture into a the avenue of like pursuing singing or how is that? Or it's just a hobby for you? No, it's it just a hobby. When I was growing up, I always wanted to be a singer though. So oh my god, yeah. yeah. I felt the same way when I was younger. I wanted to like take up singing because I thought I was kind of good. But like I soon realized I do not have the confidence to like sing in front of people and people point it out and actually listen to me. So that's that's bold. Have you ever had like stage fright while singing? I actually have never sang on a stage. Really? Would you, you like? my stuff like behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I get you. I yeah. have terrible. Yeah. Okay. I don't I even see. want to do it in, um, on streams. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't You wouldn't try, like, Twitch sings or anything? I would. You would? But, yeah. What type of music do you, do you, would you sing? Or, like, what's your, what's your favorite, I guess, genre of music that, to, that you like to sing? I feel like I'm more poppy, R&B. Ooh, kinda. okay. Mm-hmm. Do you have any inspiration you take that like inspired you and like the do you, well do you write your own songs like have you ventured off that way or do you like do covers? I do write my own songs. I do <sighs> also do covers. Oh, okay. Um, my SoundCloud is my own. The stuff that I wrote on my SoundCloud. Wow! Oh my God! It's like you're a triple threat. My good God! Wait, you sing, photography, you stream. Oh my God! See, I get, the only thing I'm good at is being an idiot online. Like I could. I guess entertain people in that yeah. sense, but that's not like, I, you know, I, I don't take that as a skill. I take that as like, oh, laugh at my failures. But you, my good God, you should you should do Twitch things if you're not already doing that. You should do you should do that. I feel like that's a, I guess the more you branch out, I feel like you'll grow a bigger audience, which you're already growing. So like, don't take my advice, but like, I think that's a good that's a good thing for you. To, to go off to Twitch things. I know some people who do Twitch things, but it's like, they don't take it serious, obviously, but like there are some real talent that that are on Twitch things. Do it. To have fun with like, with chat or something. Yeah. Um. Oh, okay. I have another question that I wanted to ask that was actually really interesting for me. Um, what was like your very first milestone you've hit, like streaming? Or even in music or photography in general, like what was that one thing that like made you feel like, oh, I did something. Oh, I I did that. I accomplished that. Like a big like milestone. Um, for me, it was hitting a hundred followers, mm -hmm. which and also, um, I don't I don't remember how many subs mm -hmm. to unlock an, an emote. But I took that as like a big deal. For me yeah that is that's a big deal i i think i cried the first time i like hit that milestone where there where i actually started getting twitch points but it's just me i'm like a big cry baby i'm very emotional i killed a lizard the other day by accident and then i cried for four oh. hours straight so um that's amazing though that 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 is actually like an achievement like you know did you think that getting affiliate on twitch was um i guess like easy was it what you expected as in like hitting affiliate uh it wasn't i wouldn't say it was easy it took a lot of mm -hmm. consistency um a lot of like positive energy because sometimes i yeah. can get myself down about stuff. after For a while sure. i was like why am i even doing this why like oh why? yeah i'm not gonna get it but then it happened I get that same I, I felt the same oh I to me I felt like I paid no attention to it not because I didn't care just because it seemed so far out there for me to even reach affiliate so I was like let me just continue doing what I'm doing you know yeah I didn't really start getting excited about it until it it's so close yeah I knew it was gonna happen eventually mm-hmm <sighs> Sorry, I'm just getting, I, I get so distracted. I always say I have the attention span of a walnut. 
I get so distracted and I end up looking at chat and I'm sorry. Hi chat. Um, if any one of you guys have questions for Ariel as well, uh, please feel free to follow her by the way. She does have a Twitch account. She makes music. She's a photographer on the side as well. So how do you keep from getting discouraged like on Twitch? Or like what, like what do you do to like not let like a random troll come in and like deter you from streaming? Like sometimes, you know, trolls can get in my head and I want to know your experience with that. Like what stops you from getting discouraged? Um, I feel like the main thing is chat, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, I... What's your goal in Twitch mainly? Like, what are, you, what are you aiming for? What's your thing? What are you aiming for? Say again? Just want friends. Just want friends? Okay. Uh, That's it. Are, you wouldn't say you're working towards partner or anything? Is that like your... There's no end goal um, for you? The main goal? It would be nice to have partner, but it's, it's not that big of a deal for me. I get it. Okay. Just gonna chat and hanging out. Ooh, what I guess discourages you from being um from from streaming from trolls? How do you handle a troll? How do you personally like? What are your rules in your stream and like um, I guess what do you what do you make your mods or I guess ask your mods to do? Uh, if there is a troll, how do you handle that? Um, I kind of just go with the. I don't really have a set thing. Like a method? I, chat to... I don't really have a set method. I just want community community to feel safe um, and comfortable. Yeah, of course. And if anybody turn off that vibe, then I guess warn them first. Yeah. If they still don't care, you could just go ahead and ban them in time out. We have a a really chill chill stream so it really is have... Mm -hmm. have you ever had a i guess a bad stream day where you're like i kind of don't want to stream or do you push yourself to stream even when it is a bad day i always well when i started off i wouldn't push myself but at this point i feel like i always so because after streams i always feel a lot better than mm -hmm. i started so, would you stream it streaming is like my uh -huh. therapy at this point Yes, I completely agree with that. Completely agree with that. Um, I was, that's actually what I was going to ask you. Would you say that streaming has changed you for the better, for the worse? Because for some people, when they stream, I guess it makes them a little more toxic because you're more prone to like people judging you. So how do you think streaming's affected affected you? Has it affected you in a positive light, a negative light, or just kind of neutral? Well, I feel like more than probably positive. Definitely positive, actually. I actually um, suffer from anxiety, social anxiety. So, mm -hmm. this is what, streaming has been helping me that under control. Yeah. Like, I know how to hold a conversation outside, even though I'm never outside anymore because of COVID. <laughs> oh, yeah. Chat, be careful. All right. Everyone, be careful, please. I advise everyone wear a mask. If you think it doesn't do anything, it's better to take your chances that, hey, maybe, maybe better safe than sorry. How has the pandemic been like for you? Are you like streaming more often now since since the I, whole pandemic? Yeah, I'm definitely streaming more often. A lot more time. I was streaming. I was um, working full time, mm -hmm. so I didn't really have any time to stream alone consist consistently. Mm -hmm. um, but now I'm just sitting at home. Might as well stream. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, someone in chat tiring. Uh, he asked, do you have a specific uh, Instagram dedicated to your photography? Or is it like meshed all in one with your personal account? Uh, I have a specific photography account. Mm -hmm. It is Ariel P. Shoots, I think. Mm -hmm. And for those of you wondering, I'll probably post. Uh-huh. What were you going to say? <laughs> no, I, I, was, I was just talking to chat. Ignore me. Go on. So plug in your uh, your Instagram. A R I E L P then dot sheets. Okay. There you go, chat. There you go. For any of you photographers that want to share art, please check her out. What is your weirdest, I guess, Twitch experience you've ever had? It could be weird, like creepy as in some weirdo just kind of not leaving you alone. Cause I've seen a lot of weird things on in my experience on Twitch. So what do you think is like the weirdest experience you've ever had? Being a Twitch streamer, um, I just like 
like a perf- there's like one specific stream that I remember. It was like a Ooh. random late stream that I was doing. Yeah. And the guy being weird. What did he do? I didn't know exactly what he said. It was he just came in a chat saying weird stuff and we were like <laughs> Did you <laughs> end up you banned Oh, okay. That's what my next question. Did you actually did you end up banning them? Okay. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure we banned him that night. That was it was just really weird because he came in not even talking about the game. But... Was it just like incoherent? Ty- like, is it just random typing? It made no sense. It wasn't in reference to what was happening. Pretty much, yeah. It was <laughs> okay. That's <Yeah>. odd. <laughs> that's so odd. Yeah. Okay. Weird. Have you ever had that experience or like someone will like, I guess in a way, view bot you as in it's not you being the one that's like controlling the bots, but like bots come into your channel and it, it makes your, it spikes up your views, but like it's just random bots spamming something that has nothing to do with the, with the game you're playing. You've had that happen? Um, recently, we've, I've been having a lot of the bots that are like, get a lot of followers or something like that. Oh, okay. Like, I've been having a lot of those. I always get, like, random bots in chat that I see. Mm -hmm. I haven't really had any really big issues with it, but it happens, so. Oh, excuse me. Um, Seeker says, did you have trolls in the beginning before mods? Oh, that's a good question. Um, actually, I don't think I did. What would you consider yourself? Like, what type of streamer would you, you? You said story mode, so would you consider yourself just, like, someone who runs through campaigns, a variety streamer, or, like, are you known for one game? For me personally, I think that I was known for Overwatch for so long, so I always tell myself that I'm, like, a washed-up Overwatch player. So, like, <laughs> what would you consider yourself? Variety, or what type of I'd streamer? I'd probably consider myself variety. Uh, when I first started... In my head, I wanted to be mm-hmm. like a Borderlands player. Oh, okay. Kind of fell off. So now I, I play pretty much everything. Okay. Everything and everything. I get you. <laughs> was it hard transitioning from Borderlands to like other games, or was like your audience stuck with like they they, they followed you through that? Because for some streamers, when they switch the game that they're known for, it could be hard because they end up losing that audience or losing that crowd. You know, I feel like most of the people that were watching me were watching me for like conversational purposes, so it mm-hmm. wasn't really that hard for me to switch. Yeah, up the gameplay. Mm-hmm. Greeny asks, uh, I guess, what's your favorite game that you've ever streamed on stream? Like that you've had the most fun in your whole entirety of being on Twitch. Um. Probably Shadow of the Colossus. Okay. Those are really cool streams. And Apex. I play Apex all the time. But Shadow of the Colossus was really cool. I had to meet a lot of people mm-hmm. who really liked the game. So I thought that was really cool. Meeting oh. people, playing yeah, games, yeah. Different type of games. I'd never played a game like that before. Mm hmm. How do you, I guess, like with story modes, uh, how do you deal if someone comes in and tries to like backseat game? Do you allow that on your stream? Is that like not allowed for you? Do you look down upon it? Um, I haven't gotten too much mm-hmm. backseat gaming. Mm-hmm. Um, I do have a thing. I don't. I don't really like be told everything to do in a game. I like to figure stuff out. Yes. So mm-hmm. after a while, if it gets out of hand, then mm-hmm. I usually leave to the mods to like oh okay uh, how, i guess what's your signal to the mods then to know like hey this is the line uh they're kind of can we do something about it I'm usually pretty good about uh finding it out before i even do because i'm oh, usually okay. focused on the game so they'll so be like hey chill oh okay okay yeah have you ever insta banned anybody i guess like um mm, how would i word this I guess like by their username or like just from what the first thing they've said, you just like, nope, I won't tolerate that ban. Um, Nobody's ever have yet. Oh, okay. Yet. See, that leads me to believe like that you, one... uh-huh, go on. The one person that I was talking about before, I feel like said whatever he said and we were like, what? 
and then yeah. she, like, <laughs> what? didn't respond. We decided, well, I guess that wasn't something appropriate if he's not replying anymore, and then we banned him, but mm -hmm. didn't really ban. Has anybody, <laughs> I guess, attacked you in DMs or, like, on a different platform after you've banned them? Like, they came back to say, like, unban me. I didn't do anything wrong. Not yet. Not yet. I've been um, lucky. <laughs> Siko asks, um, do you play with viewers? Or, like, or do you just prefer to, like, go solo? Play by yourself? Um, I do like to play with viewers. Okay. I feel like there's a certain point, though. Uh, recently, I've been getting a lot of people coming in the chat, like, for the first time ever and being like, play with me. And I'll be like, I don't even know you. <laughs> oh. And they're like, try to carry me in the game. And that's, mm -hmm. that's not something that I want to go for. I want to do with your the own viewer, thing. Not yeah. Viewer. Not like I have them backseat game and like tell you, this is what you need. Right. This armor is what you need. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm definitely for it though. Mm hmm. All right. Um, during your time as like on Twitch, uh, what was the nicest thing anyone's ever told you, or I guess ever done for you, whether it be gifted subs, bits, or just I guess even helpful information from like a partnered streamer, maybe. You know, well, what's what's the nicest thing and like the nicest gesture that anyone's ever done for you? Oh, there's so many, so many nice people on, on mm -hmm. the streams. Aww. Oh. That subs are always appreciated because I've never asked for subs. Mm -hmm. It's never mandatory. Mm -hmm. They're always appreciated. Um, complimenting me whenever I do randomly slip up and sing on a train. Aw, that's beautiful. <laughs> I'm sure there's like lots of clips of you, huh? That just that they take out. If not, there should be. There's like one one frame where somebody redeemed like a karaoke time and I started singing like The Little Mermaid. Oh, that's fun. That's so fun. Um, Grant asks, uh huh. Grant's question was, are you open to new genres of gaming? Definitely. Definitely. Always open to new genres, new types of games, mm -hmm. new styles, playing. I'm open to whatever. And story mode gamers usually not the best of Twitch spoilers and all that. How do you deal with those people? This is a question from Pesty. How do you deal with those people? Following up to what your preference is to stream for your communities, uh, multiplayer or single players? I believe Ariel said single players, but let me go ahead and ask anyway. Uh, you prefer multiplayer or single player type games when you stream? Which one would you prefer over the other? Probably single players, just because... I know what I'm gonna do. I don't yeah. know what anybody else is gonna do. Yeah. Um, I'm starting to learn. I'm starting to like multiplayer games. Mm hmm Now though. Was um was gaming always in your life, or is this like a newfound love that you found like growing up, or? It was. It was always there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Always. I always. Uh, That's every gamer's always, answer. It was always there. <laughs> I started off with like. I remember in elementary school, my school actually would rent out yeah. PlayStation ones. We would like take home the PlayStation and play the games. Wait, okay, um, pause, because that sounds fascinating. And why don't schools do that now? You take home a PlayStation. PlayStation. Yeah, we would take home PlayStations and like aim for the PlayStation and have it for like the weekend or something like that. And so essentially was this like when you take home a pet like a school pet but like the pet is a playstation oh my yeah. god wow that's so i feel like people should do that now oh my god okay was that for like selected kids or is for like it goes around like the whole school like the, the whole classroom i don't remember i feel like it probably was like for like a reward Oh I'm my angry. god. All I got for a Pretty reward in school? <laughs> oh my god. All I got was like a popsicle. Oh, good job. You did good. Here's a popsicle. Oh, Siku says, does your mom follow you at least? I guess on Twitch. No. <laughs> no. Would you be okay? I told like my sisters about it. Oh, you're okay. Uh, what they say? I had to make their account. <laughs> Wait, you made their accounts? Oh my god, I that's smart. Their accounts. Yeah. Are they gamers <laughs> or are you the only gamer in your family? 
Um, me and my nephew. My nephew actually streams on Twitch as well. Okay. Um, he's not. He um mm -hmm. recently had to get a new PlayStation because his old one broke. But yeah, he's he's back. He's streaming. Yeah. Okay, that's lovely. Oh. Do you ever um? Oh, sorry. Go on. Yeah. I was saying, um, do you ever raid people? Or do you ever do raids? I guess. Dude. Like, are you open to that? Um, like, mm -hmm. I try to raid all the time. I forget pretty often. But yeah, same. I, I do really like raiding. I, I like people appreciate the raids and they like get really excited. They feel nice. Like, yeah, oh, right? Nice. Yeah. <laughs> now let's see them be nice. Have you ever had anybody <laughs> hop into your raid? Um, I guess pretending to be with you and then they'll go out and like, I guess in a way, try to ruin your name and your community that way. Because believe it or not, people do that. I've had that happen. Yeah. Crazy. It was, I don't remember who it was I was reading. For me personally, I, I apologize to the streamer that, that I rated about that person. Even though they're not part of my community, I still want them to know that is not what I condone. And I, although I have no control over that person, you know, I, I still feel the need to apologize. So I feel like people, maybe people don't realize that when you raid someone that that could happen. It does happen. That's why I always make sure to stick around after the raid a little, because I'll be lurking for a little bit to make sure that no one, like, I guess, does that. Um... Oh, how do you even find inspiration, I guess, to write your songs or like, yeah, let's let's say that. How do you find inspiration for writing your music? What what hits you? What inspires you? Like your muse? I usually take like past experiences. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes I live vicariously through my family's. Mm -hmm. I like write music about that. Um, a lot of things. Like I usually my process. I usually find a song, find a track. Mm -hmm. that I like and then I'm listening to the song sometimes a melody just pops up in my head and I like mm -hmm. build off of that and then whatever vibe the melody's given me I kind of just go with it yeah okay that's beautiful do you have a favorite song that you've written yeah. you don't need to an answer <laughs> but if you do <laughs> I'd love to know um that I really like is actually not even a full song. It's just something me and a friend were doing mm -hmm. just to, to do. And it's actually called Nonsense because it's literally about nonsense. But I really like the vibe of the beat and mm -hmm. you know, is it on your really like. is it on your SoundCloud? Yes. Okay. That's lovely. But um what's a trait or skill maybe that people don't really know about you that you that so I guess in a way would surprise someone if you told them, like a trait, a skill, something like that, that not a lot of people know. If you don't have one, that's okay. <laughs> or even a weird, I guess a weird talent, maybe. Weird talent. I can't really think of one. Yeah. No. Left-handed, if that's weird. That's now. pretty cool. A lot of people are usually <laughs> right-handed, or like the people that I meet are right-handed, I guess. I think that's the, the coolest thing about me. I'm pretty lame. <laughs> I don't think you're lame. I think you're really chill, and I think we need that in a lot of streamers, because I see a lot of streamers that are out there and loud, and yes, including me. It's not that I do it intentionally, but like you see all your basic loud streamers that are like jumping up and down and whatnot, but um, I don't think you're lame. I like it. I like the vibe you give off. It's very, I guess, uh, I, for lack of better words, it's just chill. You know, I, I like that. I think it's That's what I like to say. calming. It's just chill. I'm chill. My stream's chill. Everything's chill. Yeah. Uh, Greeny says, do you play any instruments? Oh, I do. And, um, and, and violin. And the I violin? Like Ooh. Um, I played the violin from, uh, I think, third grade through high school. So Since third grade? Third, wow. Yeah. Um, and then at the, the later end of high school, I started playing a little viola, started playing around with the cello, 
um i i can play songs on the piano i haven't been like informally mm -hmm. like if somebody that actually knows how to play the piano looks at me like ew what are you doing but mm. if somebody that doesn't hears it they mm -hmm. think i know what i'm doing I yeah i just have to hear <laughs> do you have a certain schedule now um, I like to call it a schedule. Oh, okay. It's basically, just whenever when I'm free. Yeah. It technically kind of is because I'm only free. A certain time. Yeah, I get you. Same. Yeah. I'm usually streaming Monday through Thursday. Monday through Thursday, chat. Right. Monday through Thursday. Thursday around two to around five or six. Okay. I like it's that. Usually my free time. So I'm streaming. Okay. Does it ever differ, maybe? Or it's just whenever you have free time, it's like you always stream that time. Or it never differs. Um, for the past couple couple months, it's been pretty consistent. It never changed. But I, mm -hmm. I will be starting a job soon. Okay. So I won't be having, I won't have as much time. Yeah. To stream. I won't be able to stream every day the same day because it won't be a consistent schedule with the job. Mm -hmm. I keep keep um all that information up to date on Discord. That's lovely. I like that. Yeah, I think a lot of people don't utilize utilize a Discord as much as they should, but that's good to have. When did you first Actually, find out about good, Discord? Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Go on. Yeah, first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, Twitter. I was gonna say Twitter is another thing that helped me grow. Like Twitch. Uh huh. Like um stuff i have my twitch link or my twitter linked up to my uh stream elements to like whenever i go live yeah so i will like put hashtags in that mm -hmm. and whenever i went live that will post on twitter with all the hashtags so if anybody searched for certain words yeah and they would like stop it i've gotten a lot of people stop in from that uh are there any projects you're working on now maybe some of your uh instagram or your social medias that you that you want to link uh, or like let people know anyone in chat know about um before we uh end not, mm -hmm. not doing anything currently but i do plan on making youtube videos get back on that the youtube train sometime soon um um not really doing anything okay <laughs> other than twitch yeah all right chat i want to I do want to start making more music too. So, be on the lookout for her music when she actually when she makes it. Because I I for one will definitely be on the lookout for that. I would love to hear it. I noticed that I meet a lot of musicians and artists through Twitch. I think that's a really really um beautiful thing. Like I I I don't consider myself artistic, but for some reason I'd say that the people around me are always artistic, whether it be through art or like music or I guess singing, whatever it is. They're always artistic and like. Hence your content too. Very artistic. Thank you. Maybe you are artistic and you just don't know. Maybe I haven't don't found it. <laughs> uh yes, she does have a SoundCloud maniac. So if you I think one of the mods in here, one of our wonderful mods in here probably have the link. Yes, she does have a SoundCloud. So feel feel free to uh, take a look at that. Peep that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for being on the podcast, Ariel. It was an honor. Thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate you. It was honestly really, really wonderful getting to know you a bit better. Thank you. Thanks for having me. It was really fun. It was a pleasure. Thank you so much. I'll catch you later, Ariel. Stay safe. Bye. <laughs> Please get to know her. She's wonderful. Honestly, fantastic. What a gem of a human being talented i see that's the thing I, that's the thing i look forward and want in this podcast chat this is going to be the end of episode two for the podcast we'll most likely have another one in september a completely different guest